The foolishness of that comment is so deep, I can only ascribe it to higher education. You have to have gone to college to say something that stupid. The Ryujo is a tier 6 carrier known for its streamlined and easily recognizable profile. Being the only carrier with its own pool at sites like Tumblr, and surviving the mass carrier genocide, means that it has enough interest for ship fuckers and wargaming alike. So, what makes the Ryujo special, and why I picked this perpetually shafted nation when the meter clearly goes against it? Unlike the Hosho and Shokaku, it doesn't get shafted as hard due to balancing, where the former having a hard time doing jack shit, and the latter gets constantly turkey shot out of the sky by high tier AA. Meanwhile the Ryujo only has to worry about these jackasses, and probably the right winger. Having compared all three nations that has a carrier tree, it is clear that the Japanese is the most difficult one to take. However, it allows you to acclimatize better to any changes made to the never-ending carrier adjustments. This is how you dominate the flat top leaderboard. It has the best torpedo squad capable of picking off anything. They are basically flying destroyers. You use them when the match begins, to scout for the enemy fleet, and spot them for your team. It is important to see what ship goes where, because by doing this, you already done a big favor to your team, even if it's not apparent enough for old man. Next thing to do, is to find someone to shove on. You have fast danger pylons that can nail anything, has good damage, and great attack handling. Make sure you also have torpedo acceleration skill. Generally. You want to go after lonely ship, but it is recommended to try and go after these cute little things from the start. Pulling a successful torpedo run against destroyers are indeed difficult, but it will deal a major impact to the game. Fortunately, people are naturally attracted to shoot these cute little things. You keep them spotted, while simultaneously predicting their path, and go for a drop or two, not like you gonna lose any planes against them. It may not be as effective or practical as conquering them with AG, but this is one way to jerk off your dominance. Once you're done with the torpedo squad, you wanna follow up with the infamous AP bombers. This is where things gets hard, see unlike AG bombers, you can't universally shit on anything. You cannot drop on cute little things, you do not drop on paper cruiser, and you can't do much against American battleships, because the bombs are not suited against them. So here are some of the ships, that you can effectively drop. Use mid to low height when dropping cruisers, and mid height with extra boost when dropping battleships. Make sure to avoid superstructures. You approach them from the back, you avoid their flag, then you insert loads to their back. With only 2 bombs per attack, you either do too much, or nothing at all. So deal with it and move on. Again, it's all about choosing the right ship to drop on, which is why AP bomb should be your second priority. And that brings us to the attack plane. Oh god why does this have to exist? Yes the attack planes is a joke and you should only use it when you horribly fucked up the other two bombers. Because it's made up of paper zeros that drops faster than the atomic bomb. They are expendable, and you do not use them to deal damage, you use them as a quick in between, while you wait for the bombers to regenerate. You target leftover destroyers and cruisers, and also enemy carrier, because they are big and unarmored. This is assuming your planes are intact halfway through the match. The thing with the Ryujo and its abysmal plane health pool, is that you cannot be under AA exposure for long period of time. So when you do an attack, you do it fast, you take all these skills, to save as much plane HP as possible. Because you don't have enough deck reserve to launch another complete squad, if your previous one got wiped out. The key for a good Ryujo game, is speed. The more downtime you shave off, the better it perform. You mash the W key while cruising your bombers to sustain maximum speed. You follow your team's death blob, and focus on pummeling one flank. Try to ignore ships that are practically harmless to your team. Not only you be wasting your time, but you won't be helping the team either. Do this consistently, until people eventually see carrier players as the person in charge of winning games. When you absolutely have to dive into an AA blob, you plan your route, and make sure you can do two drops in a linear path. So you can afford losing planes for good damage. Or maybe a nice achievement.
remember that it is still a carrier, and it is horribly flat, so always expect shells coming your way the moment you get spotted. Or worse, getting more than just shells. This is how you set up the chopping board, you take all plane enhancement skills, because screw variety, and then all the upgrades with plane icons on it. Except air guns mod 1, as you don't need to waste more time doing attack runs. That air mod will come in handy, when it's end game and enemy carriers are after your flat ass. You then laugh at their struggle, while walking your way to the bank and foreshadow your next release on the internet. The Ryujo is the perfect ship to practice the new carrier, as it gives you the fundamentals of a proper team play, without upsetting the balance too much to the point of fear mongering. If you can master the Ryujo, you can master any carrier with ease, even after multiple hotfixes, on a game that's arguably haven't got out of beta state. By experiencing first hand of how carrier plays, you can now ignore faggots and their infinite wisdom of offing carriers from the game. Because behind their entitled defense of their beloved surface ships, they still want to shoot planes down. Clearly the rework that are desperately needed, was not reworking the carrier, but it's reworking the player base. <coughs> now go out there, and prove that Japanese carriers are the way forward, as they are reserved for big brain players with the desire to win. And of course, flat is absolute justice. I have no strong feelings one way or the other.